right, so now the original trilogy, I know what I have in mind for all three. Um, I'm going to say A New Hope is A tier, um, only because it's a little slow. That would be the only thing that keeps it for me, like the lightsaber battle, not overly exciting. Uh, there's a lot of like when you're starting a story, there's a lot of story to build. And then yeah. like the ending is incredible, but getting there to me takes a little while. I still love it. I would still say it's an incredible movie, just not the greatest of Star Wars movies. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I think that's fair because I mean, as you get into the movie, you really get sucked into the characters and the plot. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's where it really picks up is once this group comes together, right? Like you're, you're kind of buying into it. You find it interesting. Oh, we're running to the sky Han solo. We're flying. And then once they get to the death star, I think that's where it becomes its movie. Um, it wants that, that group, that core that will be the rest of the trilogy gets together. But, but leading up to that, it is a lot of getting you to buy in, getting, getting this story in place, getting these characters in place. So I get that. I mean, yeah. it, it, it does take a minute to get its get to its um i guess it's the best part of it so i'm i'm good with a okay i think that's fair now empire that's s all the way for me i mean it's one of the greatest movies of all time probably as far as what people know yeah so would would you agree there i have no disagreement there at all I think it takes everything A New Hope did well and builds on it, builds on the characters, builds on the uh, the, the conflict, builds on the uh, emotional side of things. And so, yeah, I, I don't I don't see how you cannot <laughs> put it up there. I mean, if, yeah. if someone does, hey, that's you're you're feel to, free to feel that way. But man, you ever met anybody that doesn't to like Empire? I don't, I don't think I have. No, I mean. I mean, I've I've met people who it's not their top favorite movie, but it's one of their top favorite movies. You know, I, I don't know anybody that's yeah. not up there within that group. So I, yeah, I I'd, I'd like to talk to somebody who doesn't like it and find out why. <laughs> I've never, yeah, I've never heard anybody say I hate Empire. You know, like yeah. people say I hate the Last Jedi, but no one says I hate Empire. Which I mean, you can find you could probably go any generation of person that's like ten years old and up. And say, you know, no, I'm your father or the incorrect version, Luke, yeah. I'm your father. Yeah. And and they know exactly what you're talking about. That's true. So yeah. it's it's like everyone in the world knowing what Coca-Cola is like. It's good. <laughs> People know about it. So, yeah, I think yeah, that's, that's easy. It, it used to be my favorite Star Wars movie until about a month ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. We talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to go ahead. and If this somehow in in this large world in this crazy internet makes it to somebody who does not like empire please i, yes. I just want to know why like i'm just curious as to because i've never met anyone that doesn't like it i just want to know why i'm just curious so if we find the empire strikes back hater we may have them on a podcast <laughs> just to discuss it yeah um oh, i went man. ahead and put return of the jedi s tier that's my new favorite star wars movie i think it's been mm. yours from what we discussed oh yeah it Always. closes out Star Wars so well. Had Star Wars just ended there, would have been the perfect bow on top of it. Yeah. It ties up everybody's story and like yeah. everybody's story. There's no loose ends as far as I'm concerned. And so yeah. not all intellectual properties can land the plane very well. Um, Star Wars, George Lucas, Star Wars landed the plane very well. Yeah. The plane did not land very well on Star Wars second turn at ending the franchise. So I think yep. it really makes you appreciate it even more looking back at it through that lens. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And, and one of the great things about it is like none of, none of these great arcs that are closed out are cheap. Like all these characters and their, the way things end for them, they're all very much earned through, through the conflict and through their growth. And, and we see it from really episode four to episode six, like you can carry through these storylines and like nothing feels off. They carry over so well. And so, yeah, return of the Jedi just topped everything off. So great. It had that great emotional ending, um, really solidified 
who Luke Skywalker is. And, yeah. um, I mean, the, just the ending itself is, is some of the best of star Wars, right? Between that space yeah. battle, the throne room battle, um, the Ewoks, uh, on, on Endor, like that whole last third of that movie is just fantastic. And it's the, it's kind of the, the blueprint for all successful star Wars battles going forward. This, this yeah. one here where you got, you got the land, air and lightsaber battle at the same time. And they do that a few times yeah. over after this, right? Cause you see it. That's true. Yeah. You see it happening in, well, nine certainly tries to use, yeah. to use that blueprint. Yeah, I would does. say episode one uses it. It does. Yep. Episode three is just a battle from start to finish. So I think that's kind yeah. of its own, its own thing. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely in a league of its own as far as wrapping things up and yep. the character development portion. Some people are kind of take it and take it or leave it on the Ewoks, but I'm a fan. So. Uh, yeah, I think it, it, I like it. It's a nice little whimsy layer of just fun yeah. in the mix of, of a very a dark tale in some ways. Right. So for sure. 